in this video you are going to learn how to integrate your google analytics for with gtm on your wordpress or non wordpress website so hey guys my name is raman and welcome to webby digital channel and in this video we are going to configure or install google analytics for which is going to be replaced universal analytics and it has a cross border compatibility also if you have a ios app or any other applications you can easily google analytics for with the help of gtm so you don't need any extra javascript code to be added on the header or footer section of your web pages but if you have already configured gtm then you are on the right video and you don't need to add any more codes to your website you can easily integrate your google analytics for with the gtm account and if you don't know how to configure and install gtm account then i have created a video where i have explained how to configure and install gtm on your wordpress or non wordpress website without any errors so if you are going to watch this video be sure to watch that video i will leave that link in the description box where i have shown that how to install and configure gtm correctly such that you may proceed with this video afterwards so do check out that video and afterwards land on this video and you are going to learn so much from this if you haven't subscribed to the channel then hit that red button to get more and more useful tips like this in the near future so let's get started okay so now let's talk about the requirements first you need a website obviously and second is you need a google analytics account if you don't have a google analytics account then you should follow the link in the description box and just sign up for it with your google account or any email you have and the third is google tag manager account and you need to configure that tag manager account with your domain and i have already said that i have already done a video of setting up on your wordpress or non wordpress website then you can just follow that procedure of another video which i have already listed in the description box and afterwards you should land on this video to integrate your google analytics for with google tag manager so let's get started here you may have a analytics account if you have already have it then first is you need a, you need to add a website and need a measurement id from google analytics for and to do that what you need to do is go to the admin section of your google analytics account create account like this and just start creating your account here i will be adding for the dev, web dev here google product and services yes click on next property name i will be adding google dev 4 click on next and here it asks you the business information the category of your business i will be saying um, online communities small business one to 10 employees and measure and it asks you how to intend to use google analytics for your business here is the major customer engagement with my site or app and you can add any of the following create click on create and just accept all the terms if you want to read it out <laughs> and afterwards here you need to select a platform which is either web android and ios i will be doing the web here if you want me to create a video on the android and ios i can do that also so you, you can just ask for the video in the description box click on the web here so my development blogs url or you can add your own url here it will say web dev or create a stream so it has already created a stream here and what you need is you need this measurement id for the later use and for that part let's just stall here and go to your google tag manager account and to for the google tag manager account you need to go to the tag manager.google.com and and you must have a properties here here is the container name is webby.co which is of my development blog you must have something like this and here you need to create a new tag for google analytics and how to do that it's very simple just click on this add a new tag and here you will need to add a name for your tag i will say google analytics 4 and click on this tag configuration and here you have a different type of tag configuration available for your tag manager account and what you need to do is click on this google analytics g a4 configuration okay and afterwards what you need to do is you need to enter that measurement id which we have already created click on this copy icon and paste it here and that click on this trigger button and it will uh, choose a variable if you want it just click on if you don't and click on save add a trigger or you can just click on save save tag so tag configuration is being done on your google tag manager account and go to that tags again 
here here is your tag name google analytics just open it and click on triggering here and afterwards click on all pages here you are now ready to save your setting just click on this save and there you go now we need to submit this so that everything looks click on submit here and now you can just add a ver version name on your submission just click on added google analytics for g4 added for all pages of my website just click on publish there you go so as i say version 5 is live here and it also have a name that is triggered that google analytics 4 has been added to our account and now to verify it what we need to do is go to a chrome go to the webby.co click on this click enable and just reload it again and when you see there is a google site tag also which is gvx here this is related to your google analytics account here close it down and it will just reload it no data received in the past here go to the home and there you have successfully added google analytics to your google tag manager account so i hope as you can see the user in the last minute one which i have added which i have browsed just a minute earlier so that's how you can easily add your Google Analytics 4 account with the help of Google Tag Manager. So if you have learned something from this video, then click the like button. And in the next video, we are going to link Google Search Console with the Google Analytics 4. So be sure to watch that video also in the next video. Until then, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do it because you are going to learn so much from this channel. So in the, see in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.